Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amit Pay Technologies. So in this video series, I'm going to start Java full stack programming. See, so those who are attending, so Java full stack programming. So what they have to learn and how they will learn the concept as a Java full stack. See, a full stack programmer should have the grip on end to end application development. Any programming language, any programming language is used to develop applications only. Suppose after completion of Java, so what we will do, we just do applications. We just do applications. So let me tell you one example. Suppose I'm taking the banking application. The banking application I'm taking bank app. That is. Okay. See, whenever you are thinking about, whenever you are developing the banking application, is we need to think about two things. The first thing is, who will use the banking application? And why they are using the banking application is why simple thing who will use the banking application the customers the account holders those who take in accounts from the bank and the customers account holders and employees of the bank will use employees and the next question why why they are using that banking application just for services transactions i want to withdraw i want to deposit i want to transfer i want to pay i want to change my like mobile number i want to change my mail id i want to change my pin number to all banking services we are using the banking application okay good so now we are thinking about that services Okay, suppose one customer came, one customer entered into the bank and the customer saying that I want to take the account from your bank. Okay, after taking the account, where they will store the information? First of all, whenever customer entered into the bank, so they will give, okay, please fill this form so that we will give you the account. Okay, the customer will fill the form. And what employees will do? Employees will enter the complete information and that information permanently store in the database. So, that information they will store in the database. So, first point we need to learn database. We store the information into the database. In database, the data will store in tabular format. Tables. Suppose account information, account, account number, account holder name, and what is the balance in account? Suppose, sir, how? How to perform all data operations, sir? Using one software. One application, database management system, for example, Oracle. It will manage the data, database management system. Using this, we can perform all operations. Sir, I want to insert the data. Yes. I want to display the information. Yes. I want to delete my information. Yes. I want to update my information. Yes, any database operation you can perform. How, sir? Using that database management system. Perfect. So then why Java.net? What is the use of HTML, CSS and JavaScript? Yes, see. Suppose there is a bank employee. The bank employee has to store the information into this account table. They have to learn Oracle concept. Will they learn Oracle concept? No. Banking employees don't know Oracle. Suppose 
you are the customer you are also using application do you know how to use oracle do you know how to insert the data no account holders and employees bank employees don't know database management system concept so we should know we are the programmers we should know okay so then what we will do what we will do simple we need to design the user interface sir i have a bank i have an account in a bank okay just install from the play store just open that that user interface will open it's very clear very clear that employees also as soon as they entered into the bank first they will open this one www. for example hdfc.com they will open the website so that is called user interface is also called client system is also called client system user interface so with the help of this one we can easily communicate with the entire application sir how again same one customer came one customer entered into the bank right then i want to take the account okay fill this form then what employee will do there is an option create we give this option create account when they click on this button then we create one form okay enter account holder name so what is that account number what is the balance what all the other details we we specify here simply we create a button create that's all user interface is ready so what employee will do employee will click on create then form will open and what the customer written everything they will enter just click on create so then what will happen this is user interface sir how how we design user interface html css javascript html css javascript all the three we should learn sir why why all the three i'll explain clearly i'll explain don't worry so next one once they click on create then that information will submit to the server server which application will run in the server java application will run java means server it's jsp spring right some frameworks everything that we'll see consider it's a java program the java program will run in the server it is responsible it is responsible whatever the data you enter whatever the data you enter that information will be collected by the java program in the server collect collect html input second one after collecting that html input so what it will do it will connect to database because it has to store na connect to database this one connect to database or how like jdbc some concepts are there hibernate data jpa concepts are there is connecting to the database after connecting the database insert insert that data then check successfully inserted or not just get results successfully inserted or not after getting the results just display the results okay inserted successfully nothing but account created successfully no failed in insertion nothing but failed in creating the account that's all this is the simple way of learning the things i want to create account end to end application i want to develop sir what i should learn first client html css javascript next server side programming core java advanced java one level servlets next level jsp next level spring spring boot server side programming next one database sir why ui technology is responsible for what is the responsibility of html css and javascript create the client user interface we design so what is the responsibility of server side programming connecting getting the information from html connecting to the database right just 
perform operations, any operation, insert, display, delete, update, anything by connecting with the database. That is. So why all these things we are doing? We are learning programming. We need to develop applications. The, the only thing of application is what? Just storing the information and performing all operations on information. That's all. Not more than that. So this is the simple way of learning. If you can able to develop the application like this, yes, you are ready to upload your resume and you can search for your job, right, as a Java developer, okay. So, hope you understood, this is the first video, please continue this video series and then you will understand how the programming is and how the coding is easy, okay, thank you all.